Jennifer Lawrence, one of the most iconic, beautiful women in Hollywood. Uh, we are going to look together to see how her beauty has evolved over the past decades, from her childhood to the present. There has been some controversy on whether or not she's had any cosmetic interventions, whether that's injectables or actual plastic surgery. I'm going to let you decide whether or not uh, she's had undergone any procedures. If we first look at Jennifer Lawrence as a young woman, as a teenager, we can see, even though this is an oblique view of her, that she has a oval-shaped face, a thin upper lip, almost no evidence of an upper lid crease, and good proportion overall to her face. The next image, a little bit later in her teenage years, shows the similar imagery. Again, a very symmetric face, a slightly bulbous uh, nasal tip, full cheeks, and an, a heart-shaped face, and uh, a very inviting, uh, beautiful woman. Now, if we skip over to 2008, we see, again, a beautiful, uh, very inviting appearance to, to Jennifer Lawrence. Her hair is draping down and, and framing her face. Uh, she has symmetric upper eyebrows. Again, no evidence of upper eyelid uh, uh, surgery or interventions of any kind around her eyes. However, she has an upper lip, which is a bit uh, thicker than she did as a child. This probably uh, is evidence that she had some kind of lip filler. The person doing the lip filling did a good job in terms of symmetry, in terms of the amount of filler they put in, because uh, she has a good ratio of about one-third to two-thirds, uh, one-third being the upper lip uh, diameter versus the diameter of the lower lip. She has good tooth show, her teeth are beautiful, and overall her complexion is uh, radiant. If we go a little bit further on in time, uh, to 2011, we can see uh, a very similar uh, image again of her face with good definition along her jawline. Her lip uh, proportions are similar to what she had in 2008. And uh, she does have one little slight flaw, which is the left upper lateral eyelid has a scar, uh, which may have occurred uh, from some injury. It does not look like a uh, scar from a surgical uh, procedure. Uh, she has almost no lower eyelid uh, depressions. There's good continuity from her lower eyelid to her cheek, and her cheeks are full and has good uh, volume uh, stretching all the way from her temples right to her uh, nasal labial folds. In 2012, we can see, again, she has uh, a very uh, beautiful jawline, good definition of her neck. She has a uh, beautiful symmetry of her face. Her ears are small. Everything is in great proportion, and uh, she's a, a stunning, beautiful woman. In 2013, we can see Jennifer has opted to have augmentation of her upper and lower lips, and we can see kind of a one-to-one -one ratio between the uh, diameter of her upper and lower lips in terms of the volume and, and diameter of these uh, lips. And this is somewhat of a deviation from what a Caucasian uh, lip is typically a one-third to two-thirds ratio. So. This shows you that there is a evolution in terms of our thinking in, in society about what we consider to be beautiful. Um, there are many women who are opting for fuller upper and lower lips and giving a more one-to-one -one ratio. And in her case, it, it works. It's, it, they look beautiful, and it just it adds to her beauty. In terms of her lower eyelid, you can see some hollowing of the lower lids. Uh, she looks like there's, there's a loss of volume there, and there's, there's no longer this uh, continuity from her eyelid uh, eyelashes and to her cheek, there's a little bit of a uh, depression in each area. So, so far, I don't see any real evidence of any s surgical interventions of any kind. Uh, it's possible that she had some uh, nasal uh, uh, narrowing of her, of her nasal dorsum. Uh, it looks like that, and the nasal tip looks uh, a bit smaller, and as well as her nostrils. Uh, so she might have had a rhinoplasty at some point. Uh, I'm not sure. It, 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 it could be a photographic uh, uh, trick, so to speak, but we, uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, and as far as her eyelids are concerned, I don't see any uh, surgery on the upper eyelids or lower eyelids. I do think she had filler in the lower lids uh, because she no longer has those uh, uh, sculpted out uh, depressions, and therefore there's more of a continuity from her eyelashes to her cheek. Her lips look uh, in excellent proportion, again, almost a one-to-one -one ratio, and her jawline is very well defined. Here we see Jennifer approximately 10 years after the 2014 uh, image, 
and we can see that her face has changed dramatically. It looks more oval in, in, in contour. She has much fuller uh, cheeks. Uh, her, her lips, of course, are very uh, full. She has d definitely a 50-50 split between her upper and lower lip, uh, and her nasal tip is narrow, and uh, it's possible she had a rhinoplasty. Uh, the lips, in, in particular, are, don't look natural. Uh, they look like they've been done, and uh, this is something that does happen quite frequently amongst um, Hollywood stars. Uh, as they age, the, the, their studio or their advisors start to uh, suggest that they uh, start enhancing their appearance uh, in more dramatic ways rather than stick with uh, the uh, more natural appearance as they age. And uh, it starts to look done, and it can change their on-screen character uh, imagery uh, quite a bit if they do too much. And sometimes these Hollywood actresses and actors go overboard and uh, create uh, more of a uh, freakish appearance rather than a better, uh, more beautiful enhancement of their uh, features. So uh, in this case, I would say that her lips were clearly overdone and probably too much filler or fat uh, injections in her cheeks. And, uh, and I would say give her the advice that she shouldn't do anything and let everything dissipate uh, on its own or even uh, inject some uh, reversible agents to shrink down some of the uh, injectables that have been performed. Now, if we move on to the next uh, image of her, uh, which may or may not indicate that she had a low incision upper eyelid uh, procedure, because now she has an upper eyelid crease uh, that we have not previously seen. Uh, this is a pretty uh, recent photograph, and uh, I don't know if that's just due to her raising her brow, and now we're seeing her upper lid crease, uh, or whether or not she actually had a upper lid blepharoplasty. Now, she obviously has denied any surgery uh, in, uh, in the past, and it's possible that she didn't have any surgery, and maybe some of the things that I'm seeing are related to just natural aging and possibly just from injectables alone. Uh, but uh, it does appear that she might have had some minor procedures done to try to enhance her appearance. This was fun, and I hope you learned something from my analysis of Jennifer Lawrence's face. Keep watching because I think we can learn things from analyzing the celebrities' faces because uh, we can decide for ourselves what makes sense and what doesn't, uh, and hopefully you'll come away with your own decisions about what uh, cosmetic procedures uh, make sense for you.